All right, welcome back. It's I, El Sofo, so say Alfredo Roth. Coming back to you on this beautiful Saturday. Coming with the messages for Scorpio, Sun sign, Moon, Mars, Pluto, whatever. In your natal chart, wherever you have Scorpio, then there could be a message in here for you. So remember to use discernment. Um, don't just cling on to a message because it's something that you're seeking, right? Remember to listen with your inner eye and trust that the universe will guide you to the messages that are meant for you. So Scorpio, you know how we love, 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 right? To hear these messages so that it can help us while we make our, uh, our decisions, right? Whenever we're moving forward and changing. So this is for you, Scorpio. And if you have Virgo in your chart, then feel free to check out the Virgo um, video that I just uploaded. All right, let's get this energy in here. Where we have for Scorpio, one, one, one. There we go. Not playing. Scorpio, Aquarius energy. Hmm. Could there be an Aquarius around you? Could this be the energy that you're tapping into? A healing energy, right? Connecting with the stars, right? Or luminaries, right? Look at this, Aquarius. The water bearer, the star, being the fact that we're in the age of Aquarius right now, right? Very strong energy to come up with right now. Major Arcana. So some of you, right? There's a healing that's taking place. Some of you, you're recognizing how you are um more aware right of the cycles right the patterns within the stars right you're probably some of you are stargazing following them and noticing something happening within the stars right noticing happening something within the sky noticing the lights up there but definitely healing energy being tapped into once again higher powers above right the creation energy i see a balance of emotions in this current moment mm, aquarius five of pentacles right so why do we have a five of pentacles popping out here five of pentacles so someone i feel like as you are proceeding right in your journey in your elevation scorpio in your healing process right in remembering to stay connected and tapped in someone or some people may feel like they are having less access to your energy okay For some of you, you also need to uh, rid yourself of scarcity mentality, okay? The world, baby, the world, look at this, right? This, the world card represents the four fixed signs, Scorpio, Aquarius, uh, Taurus, and Leo, right? The world with the star, with the five of pentacles. You're definitely leaving people behind, Scorpio, okay? In your ascension and in your elevation in life, as each one of you are working through um, your transformational stage, this is happening, right? And it's just pushing you out of a comfort zone. This is also kind of like creating a distance between you and people that were once in your life that are feeling left out because with the world card, you are ascending right into a new chapter of your life with so much vigor so much control you literally have a full grasp and understanding of the strength you possess your self-love and awareness your ability to fly and soar I'm hearing above chaos, above adversity. 
but remembering to still come back as the falling waters of Aquarius to redo it all again. <laughs> wow, so opening up to the new cycle Scorpio. Two major arcanas already. The devil, Capricorn energy, right? As they say, right? There's that saying, right? New levels of success, new devils, right? New levels, new devils. So for some of you, just be aware, right? That as you continue to elevate and ascend, there will still be those moments, right? Where energies will try to come and, right? Grab chains and try to pull you back. So that's something to be aware of. Nine of Wands at the bottom. All right, let me get one for this Devil card. Where's this Devil one? Four of Cups, yep. So the Devil card, Capricorn energy with the Four of Cups. I'm just seeing some people uh, are feeling like their life is a little mundane without your energy, without your presence, right? Because for some of you also with this Capricorn and the Devil energy, you... You are that fun, that energy, that, that vice, that fix for some people, okay? And without your energy, life just ain't the same for them, okay? All right. But you understand that ah, everything has to come to an end in its season. The judgment card, you've been elevated, you've been called, right? The angels have called you. This could be Gabriel, right? Who sounds the trumpet and is saying, Scorpio, it is your cycle, it is your time. We are calling you in. Three major arcanas with the devil, that's four, right? 710 on the clock telling you, Scorpio, yes, you recognize your worth. Right? You're seeing things from your inner eye. You're staying connected, right? You're moving past a lacking energy, a lacking mentality, but you're also, right, moving away and shifting from energies that cannot go on this new journey with you in the world card. You've been called, right? There's an elevation taking place in your life. Oof, and it's going to be a wish fulfillment for a lot of you. Why? Because you gained divine insight, divine clarity. This is wisdom. This is your inner eye being open so that you're able to see, right? The sermon is yours. For some of you, this is even clairvoyance, right? Being able to truly see with your inner eye because you're connected to the divine power. Three of Cups, yes, it's a time for you, right? To connect, to have the discernment to know who to connect with, right? Because you'll be shifting your timeline right now, Scorpio. Shifting your timeline, and you're gonna be moving into a, to a, a more joyous, more prosperous period, um, and there's gonna be people, right? Just because some people are gonna fade into the background does not mean that you're gonna be alone, Scorpio. New people right with higher purposes are coming into your to to your to your life right now into this new chapter of your life and there's going to be some celebration taking place right this is going to be acknowledgement this is getting closer in tune and connected with your soul family yeah seven of wands defend it with all you have final message for scorpio the tower moment, yes. The devil card in the tower moment, right? You shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. When you realize, no, I cannot act from a place of, of um, lust. I cannot act um, and stay in an energy of just self-satisfaction that is limited to the carnal senses and carnal desires. The emperor card, you realize, right? Your divine masculine energy right knows when to make the right moves when to make the right choices and what you are building which is a legacy scorpio mm, love that 
For instance, of swords, once again, new clarity coming your way. Be mindful, people are watching you, all right? You're now setting a new level, right? Setting a new example um, for others, knowingly and unknowingly, right? You're just going to be some that, someone that people just look and say, okay, you're setting a standard, right? Just make sure that it is, right, a divine enlightened standard that you're setting. Stay connected, stay true. Once again, I can't, like the last reading that I did with Scorpio, uh, like five days ago, one major icon of the star, seconds, the world, the devil, the judgment, okay, and the tower, and the emperor, six. Your energy is just fire. <laughs> it's very heavy, strong energy, always major moments, turning point in your life. 1055 just passed. Scorpio, love you. Uncle Justin F. Bye.